Since we're still preparing to reinstall the main mast, this is a good time to talk about the new sail plan of the ship. My name is Gijs and this is my dad. And this is Schooner Tigerai. We have recently started a major rebuild to get her ready for new adventures. And we're sharing the process with you. Subscribe to stay tuned. The ship has had many sail configurations through the years. Most of them experimental, just to see what works. One of the very first sail plans included a jib, a four stay sail with boom, a main stay sail without a boom, and a Bermuda or triangular mainsail. And this sail, of which I found that there is much debate on the internet on what it's called. Some call it a tri-sail, but I have also seen fishermen, which I think is incorrect, or four top sail, about which I'm unsure, because there is no four sail to top. It could just be the four sail, because it's set on the foremast. If anybody out there knows, let me know. Another configuration during sea trials was this one, with a jib, a four stay sail without a boom, a main stay sail that was actually too big for the aft mast, so it's kind of set like a fisherman's stay sail, and the main sail that was also too big, so it kind of looks like it's reefed on the main boom. This was not a very fast rig, also due to the fact that the sails were second hand and worn. This is the rig they eventually used to float around the world with. With a jib, a four stay sail, a Bermuda four sail, a main stay sail that had to be lowered when tacking, and a Bermuda mainsail. As you can see, there's quite some unused space between the masts. We're gonna fix that. So far for the history lesson. Let's have a look to the future. I've talked about the sails already in an earlier video, but this time we're gonna dive in a little bit deeper. Just on a quick note, the sail plan is not set in stone yet. Your input is greatly appreciated. Same like with the interior of the wheelhouse, a lot of you have been asking which of the two options we've chosen. But based on all your great input, we've designed a completely new layout, which I'm not gonna spoil yet. The same goes for the solar panels. With the help of all your comments, I've been able to choose and order the new panels. But that's all for future videos. I just want to say thank you to everybody who has shared their opinion and feedback on these subjects. Since we're working on the reinstallation of the main mast, let's start there. Apart from making the mainsail longer, we will also shorten the boom and remove the bumpkins. Because this looks a little bit silly. Don't worry, it's a bad camera angle as well. But in order to have a nice looking mainsail, the mast should be a little bit longer and the boom a little bit shorter. So that's what we're gonna do. The bumpkins are only there to keep the backstays clear from the mainsail boom, so they can be removed. The main mast will be longer, which is already done, we just have to install it back. After that, we will remake the mainsail and shorten the main boom. The backstays can then be installed back, attached directly to the deck. Let's move a little bit forward and remove the mainstay sail and the foresail. In order to fill this gap in between the masts, we're gonna try to fit in a wishbone sail. The term wishbone is of course derived from the fort shaped bone that most birds have. That's used in some parts of the world as a tradition for Christmas and New Year's, where two persons grab hold of the bone and try to break it. The person getting the biggest part can make a wish. On sailing ships, a wishbone is a type of gaff that has one leg on both sides of the sail, like the boom on a windsurf sail. Generally speaking, there's two types of wishbone sails. The triangular one, mostly used on catches, like this one on sailing yard Norda, or the more traditional gaff-shaped sail, like this one on the dynamite, one of the fastest Dutch inland racing clippers. It's actually this very sail that we've gotten from the dynamite after one season of racing. For them it was not stiff enough anymore, but for us it's very good to try out the sail. 
Since the sail is quite big and we've installed a new bigger wheelhouse, we cannot fit a boom with this sail. So instead we will use a sheet on both sides of the ship, just like before when we still used a main stay sail. If this doesn't work out, we might still try a triangular sail in combination with the main stay sail, similar to one of the earlier sail plans. Ok, to the four sails. There's currently two sails, a jib and a four stay sail. In this configuration, the four stay sail is very big and difficult to handle. To fix that, we're gonna shift the four stay a little bit forward and add another stay so that the area in front of the foremast is nicely divided into three almost equally sized sails. The sails that we're going to use there we already have laying around. If you're wondering why we have so much sails laying around, it's because Dad has been collecting and saving a lot of stuff that he thought might be useful in the future. Most of these sails are second hand but still good for another round, especially when it's for us just trying out different sail plans. The ship has always been designed to be handled with as little as two persons. For that purpose, there is a very handy sheet winch which allows one person to tack both four sails at once. Now that we are adding one more four stay sail, we need to think of a solution to keep tacking simple. So the new four stay sail will get a boom and a traveler to make it self tacking. This will be the main sail plan to start with. We can of course run different sails for different conditions or sails that need more people to handle when there's more crew on board. Maybe even some square sails. If you have any suggestions let me know in the comments. For now I will keep it at this. In the next video we will reinstall the main mast. See you then and thank you for watching.